guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I am going to take you along with me to my local airport where we are going to visit the Spirit Airline counter and do some detective work regarding their new personal item size restrictions and measurements. So if you guys are new to Spirit Airlines, I have a ton of videos regarding Spirit Airlines, a full review, and packing in a personal item videos. I will try and link those either in the description box or here on the screen somewhere. But today I really just want to address the fact that in April of 2017, Spirit changed their personal item size to 18 by 14 by 8. Now, my family has yet to fly under these new restrictions, so we definitely want to pack the bags that we plan on taking, and we're going to go to the airport. We're already in the area for a sporting event and measure those bags to see how much leeway we have outside of those dimensions they give you on the website and how big a bag we really can take for free. So let me grab those bags and let's head to the airport. to my Spirit Airline counter and how they measure the bags. I even tried to get you a shot of if you are paying for a carry-on, you do have to place it inside a box as well just to make sure um, that it doesn't exceed their measurements. So you saw me measure some of the bags. I didn't film myself measuring all of them because honestly there was a policeman there um, going through someone's luggage and filming in public's already kind of uncomfortable for me and it kind of became even more uncomfortable when I realized that I might look a little bit suspicious and nobody wants to be the suspicious looking person at the airport. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you all of the different bags that I tried out into the um, measurement box. I have bags from my friend's family that she sent with me because she was concerned about the same thing I was. I'm gonna take a measuring tape, which I don't use one of those very often, but for you guys, I will do it. And I'm gonna show you the dimensions of the bags. Now I know that there's two or three bags in particular that definitely exceed the measurements that are on the website, but fit perfectly fine inside the measurement box. So I'm definitely going to focus on those two bags. I also will have all of these different types of bags linked in the description box below, especially if I can find them like on Amazon or somewhere readily available. But look for those links in the description box. And I also want you to see how you can take backpacks, stuffle bags, book bags, you know, uh, side bags, crossbody bags, all different types of bags. So let me flip you guys around, get the measuring tape, and show you. You see pictured here, I shoved full of continents of our drawers and I took them to the airport and I tried them out. All of them fit inside the Spirit Dimension box. Okay guys, so the first bag that we have is this Disney duffel bag. Now it is like a vinyl soft-sided bag. It doesn't have much structure to it at all. And I have my measuring tape here and what I'm going to do is measure it for you. Now I don't use one of these things very often. So definitely bear with me. I think my husband was slightly concerned when I asked him for a measuring tape for this video and kind of asked me if I wanted some help. I'm gonna try to do this on my own for you guys and so let's see. I have this bag pretty shoved full and you can see that the dimensions there are 16 inches wide. Let's go. by about 12 and a half. Since these are soft-sided bags and I'm not very good at a measuring tape, it's not gonna be exact. And then let's see the width. Now, I guess you could argue here that the width, if I'm like making it stand up straight, is about nine inches on this bag. And so that would exceed um, the depth dimension for Spirit Airlines, but as you saw, it fit perfectly down 
into the box and you would be completely fine to go with this. Okay, so the next bag I have here is this La Costa, I believe is how you say it, duffel bag. Um, this belongs to my friend, and this is the one I was most concerned about. But as you saw in the video, it definitely fit down in. And so let's measure the length on the duffel. So as you can see here, guys, the duffel is measuring right about 19 inches. Definitely exceeds the measurements on Spirit's website, but as you saw in the video, it fit perfectly fine into the box. The width of the bag was about eight and a half to nine inches. Now it's kind of laying on its side at an odd angle, but um, even when I set it up, it's about eight and a half to nine inches. So I do think you have a little extra room in the um, depth as well. And then let's look at height. So the height of the bag is right around 11 inches, 10 and a half, 11 inches. And so you are well under in height. But this just goes to show you that even if a bag is a little bit over, this one is what, 19 by 11 by nine. Um, works perfectly for a spirit personal item. You measurements on is this North Face book bag. I get a lot of questions about book bags on my channel when I talk about Spirit Airlines. Can you take a book bag? Can you take a backpack? Yes, absolutely. So this one is a North Face book bag. It's kind of like more hard-sided. Um, the back has like definitely doesn't have any give to it. It's padded and very firm in the back. Um, and this book bag, while it is one of the bigger bags that I did try, fit the very least amount of stuff. So I'm not sure if a book bag, especially one with this much um, kind of structure to it, is your best bag. Let me get some measurements for you guys, okay? So let's see. It is shoved full. Like I said, I couldn't fit very much in it. But it is definitely at that about 18 and a half inch mark. And the depth is gonna be at about a seven and a half. As you can see, it really doesn't matter what type of bag you take or what type of style. And you can even probably take a bag that's about an inch to an inch and a half larger than the dimensions listed on the website and it still fit down into the box. I will link all of the bags that I you saw here in the description box below. You can definitely take a whole bunch of different types of bags. Just because Spirit says a small laptop bag or purse on their website, definitely don't just limit yourself to that type of item. You saw that these bags, some of them were quite large and I could fit a ton in them, would all qualify for that free personal item when flying Spirit. In this case, space is definitely money. I think the key is to pick a soft-sided bag. Even if it exceeds the dimensions by an inch or an inch and a half, it's nothing to worry about. The bags that I had that exceeded the size restrictions by an inch to an inch and a half still fit down into the box, um, and it definitely helped that they were soft-sided bags. I would definitely not choose a hard piece of luggage if you were flying Spirit. Wheels and handles are going to take up valuable inches that you can be using to, you know, take your personal belongings. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you are interested in Flying Spirit or want to know more about it and have more questions, leave them in the description box below. The next video that I'm doing regarding Spirit Airlines is one that is also going to be able to be rolled over to other budget carriers like Allegiant, and that is how to keep your bag under the 40 pound weight restriction. So Spirit has a lower weight restriction than other carriers and I'm going to share with you all of my tips and tricks to packing a family in one suitcase because we only check one suitcase and keeping it underweight. So if you want to see that video, definitely hit the subscribe button so that you guys don't miss it. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.